Good morning. It might be kind of noisy here. I just realized I put this over the freeway. You know, it'll be fine. I, so hard, really I ended up picking a spot with a little bit less traffic because putting my phone over the freeway was a mild mistake. Sorry, who knew? Cars, they're loud. Uh, first thing this morning, there's a couple things. Like, I'm, I want to go see the terraces of Paris this morning. The terraces of Paris, they're opening back up. Supposedly tables have to be at least a meter apart, but the complaint is that maybe chair, <laughs> chairs don't. I don't know, we're gonna find out. We're gonna go see what's going on in the city and uh, probably wander through the 9th and the 10th a little bit because that's what I uh, wandered through last night on my way back from my live stream with Natasha. And uh, yeah, saw a lot of people out enjoying the sunshine and having a drink. So we'll go check that out. But before I do that, if you've been following along on Instagram and then in our newsletter today, I believe as well, we linked to a podcast called Pod Save the People and uh, it's, a really fantastic resource, probably an unparalleled resource for information that pertains to our moment right now, uh, racial justice, and just a whole lot of information that I don't know that I would find so concisely and so up to date so easily and so regularly. And I really want to recommend it right now because for me, in moments like this, the last, um, I think we're all wrestling and asking questions, I hope we are, and uh, asking questions about ourselves, our own countries and everything that's going on right now. And for me personally, I'm always looking for resources that can challenge my worldview and how I see things. And because if, I, if I'm not changing personally in this moment, if my, if my worldview is not changing, if I'm not shifting and seeing things in a different light, then how do I expect anything else to change? How do I expect the world around me to change if I'm not willing to do that first? And challenging my beliefs and the way that I see the world and just my information bubble and trying to bring something in that maybe hasn't ever come in before is really important to that process. And I found Pod Save the People to be an incredibly challenging resource. I'll actually put it off for a couple of days sometimes because I'll start listening to it. Ugh, sorry, talking while running is sweaty business. I'll start listening to it and often just have to take a break and come back to it later because it is like, it can be pretty heavy. So forewarning, it's, uh, it's not for the faint of heart, but it's definitely something that I can't recommend highly enough. And uh, Definitely a lot of really good information and news that otherwise slips through the cracks. So I'll throw that out there. It's only the second podcast I've ever recommended. I'm, I'm, I'm not starting a trend here, but between that and Wind of Change, you got a lot to listen to and it's gonna be it's gonna be really good. So uh, it, speaking of the newsletter, if you wanted to hear a firsthand account of what the protest in Paris was like last night, Kate went to that and she wrote about it in her corner. So um, definitely be sure to check that out if you've got a moment. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna finish my run and go grab myself a little pan au chocolat treat to uh, reward myself for running and undo all the good the running has done because apparently that's how I'm operating these days. And I need to start running so my glasses won't fog up, which is also really great. And uh, then I think we're gonna have coffee with Bouchon this afternoon and go check out some terraces in the evening. And that's, that's the day, that's the day ahead of us. construction noises. I was trying to get this whole thing done before the construction noises started again. I have showered, I have sat down and got some work done, eaten lunch, and now finally got these guys packaged up and ready to go. I would write, you might have noticed that I really like writing uh, in giant markers. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'm like five years old. But these are packaged up and ready to go and get sent off 
Taria and Yanni in their respective home countries. One of these has a lot farther to go than the other, but I'm gonna go and uh, put these in the post office, put these in the post office, I'm gonna go ship these. I'm gonna go send these through the post office, which is right down the street from where Pushan lives. There's another one the other way, but I figured, you know, I'm gonna go have coffee with him anyways. So let's go do that. And then before I forget, because forgetfulness is the eighth deadly sin, something. Hillary Tolosa. Sorry if I said that wrong somehow, but Hillary Tolosa, you are the patron producer of this video. Thank you so much for producing today's video. I really appreciate it. You had no idea what that was coming, but hopefully it was a pleasant surprise. And thanks to all my patrons for literally making all of this happen. I really, 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 really appreciate it. But for now, I got to pay some attention to some Kickstarter backers who also happen to be patrons. Thanks, guys. And uh, yeah, let's get these in the mail. Hopefully you enjoy your maps when they get to you. And hopefully Pushan's made a lot of progress on his brand new desk. He said he's going to need a little bit of help with it because apparently it's pretty heavy. I have no idea what to expect, but uh, let's go send these and work on a desk and then have some coffee with our buddy. Yo, yo. Whoa! You mind if I film a little bit of the mess while I come in here? Yeah, but I'm really not even close to being done, so I made a mistake and I have to like restart. Oh no, really? Oh, that sucks. Still looks really cool. I'm like step two right now. Pushan and Pushan in action. Oh, I just realized I didn't, I had manual focus. I'm bemoaning the fact that I, when I was walking here, uh, that's actually a good preview of what hopefully we're gonna see this evening. The terraces are spilling out everywhere and people are just, you know, enjoying the sidewalk and the street as if it was part of a restaurant. And I stopped to ask that couple if they'd let me take their photo. Didn't realize that I'd put the camera in, man when did I put the camera in manual? Is all of my footage out of focus then up to this point? Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go to the post office while he fixes whatever it is he's fixing. <laughs> and then maybe we'll, maybe we'll I'll be right back. Hold on, okay. Well, that's one of the reasons I don't want to go. Of course, I forgot about lines. But at least this freshly washed duckbill mask smells delightful. Come on, we. A few life lessons from that experience. As you can see, the line was about three times longer uh, by the time I left than it was when I went in. So, you know, hit that at a pretty decent time. The rest of that was ridiculous. I'll, I'll, share, I'll share the story when I get back to Pushan's place here in a second. Now we both, we everybody gets to hear the story at the same time. Basically I went in, I had those two tubes and tubes, mailing tubes in France is a little bit tricky because it requires a little bit of extra manual work, I guess, on their end and uh, they just don't fit in as well, they roll around. So normally they like it if you, you know, tape something around it to make like a little triangle out of it and often they offer, that's good news, he just, <laughs> <laughs> you got it to work. This is not, not so professional tool that I had to measure with. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Good news down here. And good news, I got I got it sent. But the thing was, and this is, so just life lessons in France. If you ever want to live in France or you're here and you want to mail something, this is kind of how uh, things work in a lot of arenas of life here. When I walked up and I showed them that I had two tubes to send, they said, oh no, you can't send those. And I, I said, well, what do you mean? Like I said, I have sent these. <laughs> and they're like, no, 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 you can't. They expect you to just leave at that point. And the thing you're not supposed to do is leave. Just stand there, continue to stare at them and be like, no, I I need a solution. Don't, don't, don't just walk away right now. So I waited. Another guy came out like, no, 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 no. And finally a lady came out and she's like, she basically looked inside and one of the guys who was running the place was like, oh no, we, we, we should have a thing for that. They take me inside and the solution is, basically the reason that they're not doing any tubes right now is apparently it's too much manual work for COVID workplace rules, I don't know. So then they had me come inside and they walked me over to where they had a bunch of really big boxes and they just started unfolding giant boxes. And in my head I'm thinking this is gonna cost a million dollars to ship one poster across Europe. But it worked out okay. It looks ridiculous if you see the tubes just kind of crammed in there. I thought about just taking the, you know, the poster out of the tube and putting it in the box. They're like, no, no, leave it in the tube. It's fine. It'll be more protected that way. So I did and I uh, went through all the paperwork. And so Yanni, Ria, when your posters show up, it's going to look like I sent you a microwave. I didn't send you a microwave. That might have been a better gift, I don't know, but uh, I, what I sent you were that your posters are inside. They're still in there, they're in there. I, that was my whole story. So I, I got through it all and then uh, left as some some guy just walked around yelling at someone and that was the end of that post the post office story. It's like a, like a fun friend story. Yep, that's a good one. No, you can't do that. They're the same. You can't do the same. Like, uh, we went to lunch with kids. 
Off to recycling. So, 100% of these boxes and packaging are recyclable, by the way. You wanted to make sure you knew that, because there's a lot of cardboard in here. <laughs> you can show the entrance. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, wow. I didn't realize that was all from this desk. Everybody knows I'm a pig. <laughs> no. No, actually I could've done it on my own. You would. <laughs> so I got this desk so I can edit like that. Nice. Toast. We had a great coffee. We're just both really tired. Yay! Uh, and the desk is up. It's not powered on yet, but we'll come back and check that out once he's got it all fit finished. Once I've arranged my uh, office apartment, you can. We'll do a little tour. <laughs> Sounds good. It'll be a very quick tour because we should be able to fit it all within one shot. It'll be awesome. I'm gonna go uh, home and put some of this together because I'm gonna go back out and finally show you terraces around Paris. I'm uh, just waiting for a little bit later when there will actually be people out. So you know, it's not just empty tables. My buddy Sarah went to the wrong metro station. The one metro station that is closed. But we thought we'd take the metro, you know, just to see what the experience is like. I gotta buy some tickets, then we'll wait for her. <laughs> and then we'll finally get to, we'll, we're gonna get there one of these days. I like your mask. Thanks. Oh, uh, wind, sorry, okay, we're, we're, let's go. I just love the fact that the gutter is a terrace now. Have, yeah, have you ever seen that? That may be where we need to go. You want to go there? Okay, let's do that. Corre passage des petites écuries. I've been, I was just by here yesterday and was like, oh yeah, we gotta, I gotta come back here. This is Paris for you. This is Paris. Look at that. Wow. Look at all these people. We got rained out, unfortunately, which is kind of fun. But I have thoughts. I've had a, I've had a, I've had a day with French business. But we're having a good time. We're gonna finish it here. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever it is you are. I'll see you bright and early again tomorrow morning for something. Stay safe out there. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't make me do this all night. But you gotta get the thunder. Before the rain kills my camera. There it is. Okay, gotta put it away. Ah.